striker while striker is the worst melee class it's not horrible well not useless striker can be used um you just have to be good with striker you know the better the player the better it pushes the class you know strikers get a pretty high or decently high skill ceiling um but most people think very lowly of striker but that's just because they can't play striker strikers got the passive when hit you move 50 percent faster for four seconds pretty nice um helps you get out of situations and get into fights and 50 percent it's a lot uh it does have like a tiny bit of a cooldown i think maybe it has like a one second cooldown if not like anywhere between one to three seconds on a cooldown for the passive uh but typically i think it really only has a one second cooldown uh internal cooldown the ultimate is actually pretty nice uh you won't kill stuff with your standard melee unless you're in your ultimate but the uh, ultimate also works with the breaker mace so the ultimate will uh, stun and knock back enemies and um, well, it sh it's not so much a stun but it does knock back as it says there in the text and then it also gives you 50% damage this is definitely true and it works with the mace which is pretty cool you can have a breaker mace with while in your ult it's knocking enemies back and doing 50% more damage and uh, works with the slams as well and then yeah it's pretty strong then we'll go into the cards first strike it's basically ambush but worse and it's the old ambush from uh, marksman whenever you damage an enemy with full health at level six you'll do 100 percent more damage which typically doesn't happen like ever because enemies get hit by barriers um but it's still decent melee armor I like having it because you don't have melee damage reduction in the uh, passive and you have a melee damage reduction perk uh, for 30% DR so then this makes it 80 so then you can actually tank a hit with just your health um, melee rush you really want this card on because melee kills will reduce the ultimate cooldown so you just swing with the mace uh, make sure they die to the mace and not the uh, bleed and then you'll get some cooldown and then you could alt again and when you alt it it's just so good because you actually have decent damage and you knock back blend instrument uh 130 breaker mace bleed not your actual melee bleed just breaker mace which kind of sucks but we'll go into uh glitches with this card in a moment stim siphon Melee hits give you 120 stim per hit, which I think is either half or full stim per melee hit. I think it's about half uh, stim of full stim. And this card will also heal you too. It's not one of those cards where you have to be full health to get the stim. It will heal you. So if you break or may slam, you hit like 10 enemies, then you're going to be getting a thousand or no, like 2000 stim, you know, whatever that is. Um... You'll be getting way over full stim uh, if you break your mace slam. Um, you could also break your mace slam through some walls uh, while you're like 1 HP and then it'll heal you up to full and then it might also uh, give you full stim too. So pretty good. GSD, garbage. You don't have a lot of melee damage so the explosions just kind of don't do any damage i do have it at level four um maybe at level six 85 percent is like an okay explosion um but every striker i've seen whenever i play striker it's just you don't have a melee damage card so the explosions just don't do anything but even if this card did decent explosion damage i still wouldn't take it over any of these because these are just like kind of the cards to have because melee armor is nice um because you just walk up to a scion and start smacking him with the breaker mace you know and if he smacks you back it's all good you got 80 percent dr um for the perks you've got i think uh ultimate cooldown damage reduction damage and then i don't remember the fourth one can't remember the fourth one with any like 
with most of the supports of promos, but must not. I think it's health regen, maybe? I'm not too sure, but that fourth perk doesn't really matter. Uh, you mainly just want your damage and damage reduction. Uh, you want more damage because I'm pretty, sh I'm fairly certain it affects the breaker mace. And then you, you want the damage reduction so you can try and stay alive. Um, so with striker, I will add in a clip of uh, me on command showing you how the breaker mace can work. Um, because you can slam behind walls and then it has a little bit of range. Like it goes down just a little bit. Uh, so it can go through a wall and down just a tad. So then that really opens up the floor on where you can be and where you know you can slam um, and uh, how the enemies can have line of sight on you. So you can you know, kind of just hide and slam and kill enemies and it's pretty good. Uh, and with striker, you know, you just want to play like most, well, you want to play safer than other melee classes because you don't have the type of survivability that other ones do. Um, but you do have, you know, a decent kit, you got decent damage, uh, you got a really good ult. This ult is great to deal with matriarchs. You just hit your ult and you just keep breaker mace slamming the, uh, matriarch. And then she'll just keep getting knocked back, knocked back, knocked back, and then she'll just die um, after two breaker maces, um, f like full breaker maces, basically. So you know you have one, you use it, you put it on the locker, take another one, and then you use that one, and then the matriarch will die just to you. Like your teammates don't have to do anything. If you use a cryo cannon, you might be able to kill her in one, I think. Um, then the carrier. He also, I think he dies in one breaker mace, maybe. But none of that really matters when you do the glitch. So Blunt Instrument, the breaker mace bleed, goes on to um, boom shots, torque bow, drop shots, scorcher, fire. Only the fire on the floor of the scorcher. Uh, and the GL rockets. So if you use any of those things listed... And then you swap over to the breaker mace fast enough. It's hardest with the boom shot. Um, but why are you using a boom shot? <laughs> um, but so if you just shoot and then immediately swap over to the breaker mace, it will have 130% bleed. So your GL rockets, your torque bow shots, um, and then the scorcher fire pool are the main things you want to use. So like you could have a locker of three torque bows and then a scorcher and uh, you walk up to say a matriarch and then boom, it's deleted. Uh, you know, you just shoot it with the active scorcher a little bit, let it light, light on fire and then you swap over to the mace, it's dead. And then you do one breaker mace slam to finish it off um, or like a carrier, I don't know about the swarm mock, um, but the, you know, a carrier, you just light him on fire, swap over to the maze, boom, he's dead. Um, and then it's also strong with the torque bow because you could basically play striker like gunner. You could shoot the torque bow, swap over to the maze, it'll bleed out, and then you go shoot someone else, and you just keep doing that. Uh, you could also, you know, use a drop shot, locker or drop shots, just shoot out the drop shot, swap over to the maze. It does work most of the time, but sometimes, even if you swap instantly, like the torque bow didn't get, the, or the drop shot didn't get the bleed, but most of the time it works. Um, so you could play a range striker with a locker, it's kind of funny, and then go walk up to bosses and insta kill them, so that's also pretty funny. Um, I may or may not have a clip of that for you to watch as well. Um, so with striker, like I said, you kind of, you know, you could play range with the glitch or you, uh, if you want to play traditionally with the melees, then you just want to be safer than the other melee characters. Um, if you're interested in getting good at striker, I would probably play protector until you're like comfortable with protector 
and then once you're good at protector move on to striker and then you know you'll figure out how striker works and then you'll see how to play her um, she does have the least amount of survivability that's why you can't play like a uh, blade master blade master just has a crazy amount you know you got 32 here you got 32 here you got 30 melee resistance in the perk you got 30 from uh or sorry from the passive then you got 30 from a perk so and then you got forced healing from here so like you know uh blade master oh and you know the healing half your max hp blade master just has so much healing um striker truly has like very little in comparison um yeah that's uh striker What's that, Juby? Warning spotted! My time is up!